Okay, good. If you see what I was screaming for, I wanted to eat um 1K. I don't know if I pronounced it well, but hello Ndioma, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How have you guys been? Alright, so in today's video, I'm gonna be using one stone to kill two birds. Alright, when I did my welcome back video after I went on sabbatica, about a week later I made a poll on Instagram. I'm asking people to ask me questions regarding my pregnancy that they will want me to talk about in my subsequent YouTube videos. So that is what we'll be doing today. I'll be answering those questions that were asked. Um, Why doing that, I'm going to be sharing my experiences during my first, second and third trimester. So like I said, I'll be using one stone to kill two birds, answer your questions and share my experiences but before we move on into that um, if this is your first time of watching <laughs> my name is ugoma and it's always a delight to have someone new join us i create lifestyle content ranging around fashion diy vlogs food you know um everything that makes life beautiful and easy if these are what you vibe with do not forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe turn on the notification bell so you are notified each time i get to drop new videos so feel free to share this video with your friend and drop a comment for my existing subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos thank you guys for always sticking around the very first first question i'm going to be answering is this question this person said how did you feel when you found out you were pregnant i chose to start with this question because it kind of like deals with first trimester thinking but before i answer the question and also share my experiences while answering the question I'm, i just want to let you know out there that pregnancy is in three stages the first trimester have the second trimester and the third trimester and everyone believes that pregnancy is nine months right well guys i'm gonna tell you that pregnancy is like 10 months just accept that it's 10 months but because it was 10 months for me <laughs> it was like 10 months all right so to answer this question how did i feel when i found out i was pregnant i'm going to um relate it to um you or you are expecting a pack package right or a parcel you've ordered something and you're expecting it and maybe this some this thing you're expecting you need it urgently say um for your wedding okay your wedding is coming and you need this thing let's say um maybe your wedding dress you fitted it you've done everything and they are to deliver it to you okay and one day you just got the call or you got a text that hey we've delivered your wedding dress or we've delivered this thing to you something that you've been expecting or something that <laughs> you know definitely coming then you got the message or you got the call that it's been delivered to you you know that feeling that's that's joy that's deep joy i i think that's how that's the that's the that's how i can explain it because i don't really know how to go deep it's deeper than that it was deeper than that for me but that's like how i can explain it it's it i had i had this joy immediately i i did the strip test and i saw the two red line there was this there was this joy <laughs> there was this joy that was that was it was within i can't describe it with anything and i was just very quiet i went to the living room sat down and then the scripture just came to my mind um proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 yeah the blessings of the lord makes rich and adds no sorrow honestly uh, and immediately the, the the word came to me the blessings of the lord makes rich and adds no sorrow guys at that point i didn't know where the scripture was in the bible i didn't know where it was from and it just came like the blessings of the blessings of the lord makes rich and adds no sorrow and immediately i took my bible i started searching where the scripture is and i found that it was in proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 and i held on to it i anchored on to it throughout my pregnancy that was the scripture i was prophesying over my life over my pregnancy even on the day of my delivery that was my anchor scripture and i also want to use this opportunity to encourage you to to seek to seek god for a word for a scripture guys it works the word of god works there were times in my pregnancy where i'm like what, what? it was like the longest 10 months of my life but that scripture proverbs 10 22 was like 
the reassurance was the assurance i had was what it was like the anchor i know that no matter what nothing is gonna go wrong so um that was it about um how i felt when i found out i was pregnant so the second question when did your pregnancy symptoms start <laughs> it's actually a good question and it's funny in the way how it all started you know okay i was pregnant and i didn't know oh okay i didn't know like the first few the first week the second week i was out i recently just started work some weeks after my company had this um annual summit that we usually have and i'm like oh what a time to join the company at this time so i joined for the summit we were cruising on the on the ship for three days was it two? yeah for three days and guys you needed to see me on that ship i'm an overly excited person i'm excited about everything i'm not sure there's anything that that makes me really angry like i get angry i get angry um but before i get angry it's usually very hard because i just like <laughs> I don't want anything that makes me angry so you needed to see me on the boat i was cruising the skies i was like two weeks pregnant and i didn't know i was doing all of this and i was pregnant then when i got back my period was supposed to start that week but it didn't start and i'm one of those people that actually have regular period my period is always regular if it's starting today it's starting today so i somehow know how it will come and i started keeping diaries very very long time right from secondary school and you know we have this calendar in our diaries so once my first once it's my first day i take it so i've always been keeping record of my period so i know when my period will come and it didn't even come that day i'm like okay maybe because the stress from the trip and all of that i'm like this is strange second day third day i'm like okay we need to do this thing and guys i've i had my test trip at home yes now i'm a married woman i supposed to have it at home <laughs> And moreover, I was expecting, so I I like surprises, but I want to be, I want to know, I don't want somebody to tell me that, it's like, you're pregnant though, I want to go and do tests, I want to be the first person to know before somebody will tell me. So I went to the bathroom, I did tests, and then it came out positive. Now, where did symptoms start showing? Guys, I was doing all of this, so I was dancing on cruise, going to work, doing my everyday activities. The day I found out, I was pregnant <laughs> like the next day it was like open the floor get of heaven let it rain guys it rained on me everything kicked in early morning sickness started everything just kicked in and i'm like well a few days ago i was okay i think um this whole symptom thing has to do with our mind that's to tell you how powerful our mind is so now my mind is like wait i'm pregnant i'm pregnant <laughs> so everything just came yeah eventually the symptoms were gonna come in but what made me laugh was like but just yesterday i was okay why is the symptom coming today that i just um, found that i was pregnant so my, so my symptoms started immediately i tested positive to being pregnant and i believe it, it will be different with everybody yours might be different somebody else's might be different so um pregnancy is unique like my mom told me like every pregnancy is unique even pregnant more well, a woman's pregnancy if she's pregnant three times those three pregnancies will be different from each other so do not expect yours to be like my boy this is just my experience you asked and i'm answering the question so i'm uh, moving on to the to answer the quest the next question so this one is also related to first trimester it says what prenatal vitamins did you take okay remember i'm not a midwife i'm just sharing my experiences and answering your question the major one and the only one i took was um folic acid now this is the jerk even before i got pregnant i have been taking folic acid i started taking folic acid when i started expecting okay so i just i just started to, i made it like a habit to take it every day and when i told my midwife about it she was like okay that was really smart of you because the thing is you don't know when when pregnancy happened honestly yeah we as a married woman and yeah we keep trying but you don't know when when it hits and you don't want to be caught off guard and those first few weeks of your pregnancy is very very important your your fetus needs all the vitamins all the nutrients they could get so if you start taking your folic acid even before you confirm you're pregnant 
it's it's an added advantage to you and to your to your baby in the womb or to your fetus because yeah it's still like a fetus so um i started taking my folic acid as soon as i started expecting i started taking it so and throughout my first trimester up to second trimester i was taking my folic acid and i think i took it to third trimester yeah i took my arm that dedicated i took my folic acid to my third trimester so that was like the only um prenatal um drugs i took okay moving on guys the next question is did you have any cravings please share all right so when it comes to cravings guys okay to answer the question first yes i had cravings i had cravings now what was i craving for please share okay i was actually craving for our local food okay <laughs> good if you see what i was craving for i wanted to eat um one k I don't know if I pronounced it well, but those Ghanaian rice that is like colored rice. I wanted to eat one case so badly that I even went to African store and I was looking for how to prepare it. I wanted to eat those street those street food that they prepared beside the gutter. I wanted to eat it so badly, like all those early morning that you see people frying a cara fry money those people used to sell rice beside them. I wanted to eat. I wanted to eat all father. I wanted to eat. Ah, oh, guys. I wanted to eat things that I could not get. Those were my cravings. I just wanted to eat our local food. Now, the thing is, even if I had gotten those food, I am not sure I would have eaten them because I just gave, I want to eat, I want to eat. And when, once I get the food, I'm not able to eat it, especially during my first trimester. I couldn't eat anything. Guys, I lost weight. Like, I was looking so thin. <laughs> I, I think I should share a picture or a video of me. I was looking so thin during my first trimester. It was really, really terrible because I couldn't eat anything. So I was basically just craving for things that were out of my reach, out of my league. Now, to share my experience and how I was able to tackle the whole craving thing, I had to tell myself that this is normal first. So I also had to reassure myself that it's not like a do or die affair that if I don't eat those things I was craving for, that something was gonna happen to me or to my baby, you get. I just had to tell myself that it's cravings, it's part of pregnancy, it will go eventually. Okay, so um, it helped me to, to calm down when those cravings come in or when those cravings kick in. And also I had to jar and say like, baby, you go they crave for one key, you go they crave for, uh, of other rice, you know those ones they hawk for Tallinn, not even that I am in um, London or what's this place in the UK that we have like big Nigerian community, like black community. What's that place again? Please, I can't remember. Like big Nigerian community where you can see like anything that you want. Now here in Tallinn, we have a very small community, and we don't even have like a walk-in nigerian restaurant where you can walk in and eat like we don't even have like street food where you can just be walking and you're like ah see they sell so yeah they make a good chop so yeah i will not come and be craving for 1k in that kind of a place i have to actually talk to myself like girl this is not workable don't stress yourself don't stress your husband just put yourself together because okay if i start craving for 1k if i start craving for roadside um amala or roadside rice that has correct pepper and the egg has soaked oil where am i going to get it so i'm going to be stressing my poor husband to go get it for me you know i am naturally not dramatic and i would not want to do that to my partner so i just put myself together and look for alternatives when i got to my second trimester when i could cook or eat i went to the local nigerian store i got offered a mix i got you know shaki i started making my own of father even though i couldn't like eat it like the way i imagined i wanted to eat it but it was still something it worked for me i even went to the second african store and the man was so kind enough he gave me the the one k the one you used to prepare the one k guys you know what i didn't even prepare that one k it's still there in my kitchen but i'm gonna prepare it someday so now that's the thing with this craving thing it just comes and then you're like i want to eat i want to eat this 
but then when they bring it you don't eat it so i had to just um work on my mind like i said earlier all of these things is a fraction of our mind a fraction of what you've told your mind and our mind is very it's very beautiful that even though he, he just wants to work on its own it's able to work according to how you've directed it you understand so i had to just talk to myself like Uguma, you don't go see that kind of thing here so just eat your pizza eat your burger in peace and move on so that was just how yes i had cravings and that was how i was able to tackle my cravings this yeah. says um did you exercise during pregnancy <laughs> A way that's the answer I would give because um naturally I'm not like um someone that is like an exercise exercise person. Um the highest form of exercise I did during my pregnancy was taking a walk, and that's like what I did even till now. That's like my highest form of exercise. My midwife advised not to engage in serious exercise, especially if prior to being pregnant i was not an exercising person i was not physically active you know going to the gym and all of that that i shouldn't she advised that okay take a walk down the staircase take a walk on the park you know all those kind of minimal exercise that just keeps you your body fit and keeps your blood flowing well so that was all i did and i stuck to it because guys even just to climb the stairs i know how i used to pant and she also told me that um when i'm panting i should just stop like when i'm like <sighs> just stop it's not compulsory whether you exercise or not you don't exercise your baby will come out where the most important thing is for you to be healthy you get so uh, i didn't do any form of exercise i didn't like go and be carrying gym i did yoga just a little bit of yoga that would help me with stamina and movement and all of that i did yoga when i was close to delivery i got this um bouncing balls and i sat on the ball then that was basically how i stayed fit and all of that i remembered i i took so much work that one of my friends would be like this woman sit down for one place sit down for one place. i'm always working and you know i personal shop maybe i want to go and shop something for someone or i just want to go and um get something for myself i'm just all over the place so that was basically how i stayed fit all through my pregnancy Another question says um tips on how to sleep comfortably during pregnancy please okay um so to answer this and why we wrap up with this um, i chose this question to be last because i have an issue with sleep like it was sleep was crazy both because of my protruding stomach and because of what i could not explain um it started right from my first trimester i'm a naturally active person and um i think it just was really more i couldn't sleep some days i could sleep some days like there was one day I had, I was even crying because I really wanted to sleep. But for some reason, I was so restless. The sleep was not forthcoming. I was just rolling and rolling. That was even my first trimester. My stomach was not even out yet. But then I just couldn't sleep. And third trimester was the worst. Second trimester, I slept like a baby. We could be talking like this and then I just sleep so fast. I think my second trimester was like the cutest of my trimester of all the trimesters i was cute my skin was gloomy guys if you see me i was really very 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 beautiful during my pregnancy my skin tone became light i became really really fair um yeah the only thing was that i lost weight but then i was really fair so um about the sleep thing i complained to my midwife about it she told me to you know reduce my screen time if i'm to go to bed at 10 i should stop pressing my phone from 8 you know those normal thing and i had air to them it worked for some days it didn't work on some days eventually she prescribed me with um something to take to help relax my nerve and help me put me to sleep it worked sometimes it didn't work sometimes so these hormones just are everywhere so basically i just followed what she advised i reduced my screen time especially at night and um i i listened to yes i listened to white noise 
the whiteness really helped me it helped to suit me when i'm sleeping and that was what i did thank you so much guys for watching i hope um i answered all your questions well if you're watching and you still have one or two things you want me to share please ask in the comment section i'm going to make another video i'll keep making videos about this and talk about them if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel yet do not forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe um like this video turn on the notification bell so that when i drop another new video you'll be notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye